I've had this idea for a garden cat rock painting for going on like a year and a half. I didn't know how I wanted to approach it, what colors I wanted to use, the styles that I wanted to use. So I decided to go with a blue cat in a folk art style, at least my version of folk art. And I'm using paint pens. You could use acrylic by itself, wash, even watercolor. Remember, just use the art supplies that you have. I'm using blue for the cat, but you do you. In fact, as a self-taught artist, I tend to just try to have fun as I'm painting. So with that being said, grab a rock, get your art supplies together, and paint along with me. Enjoy the music, and when something happens that I want to discuss with you, I'll come back on. Oh, and before I forget, this video is sped up a lot. This painting took actually about maybe 45 to an hour, not including letting the paint dry before applying another coat. So take your time. There's no race. It's just you, me, and the rock. In fact, as an idea, you might want to watch the video all the way through so that you see what we're doing. Or pause it and rewind it and go back and watch it again. Whatever works for you. Although not necessarily in keeping with the folk art feel of this painting, I enjoy playing around with negative space and swirls. I lightly drew them in first, and now I'm going over them with color. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. That way you can get notified when I come out with another video.
looking at the cat face, it wasn't quite done yet, so I added some more of the uh, negative space and swirls to the um, area around the, the mouth and the ears. And of course, the tail. The leaves in the background were a little bit same same with the front ones so what I did is I went in with a little bit of brown and added some contrast. I broke out some deco art white. I'm adding some dots in the eyes to give it more life and the whisker notches, I guess you'd call them. I'm adding a little bit of gold because who doesn't like gold to the um, heart of the flower and to the whiskers. But I made a mistake with the whiskers on the on the right, and what I'm doing is changing that, um, going over the blue, so that I cover it up, and it disappeared now. Now I'm inking in the outline of the cat, and then the outline of the foliage. I used a thicker line around the cat and then a thinner line around the foliage. And an even thinner line around the eyes and the circles of the flowers as well as the eyelashes coming up. I like to use different line weights to offer visual interest.
hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. It really helps my channel out a lot. Thanks. Celebrate each other. Celebrate your own inner creative voice and paint along the way. <laughs>